Remember how we had predicted that the US and Russia could come together in the sector of cybersecurity with a common target in their mind in the form of China. The People's Republic of China has been responsible for carrying out cyber attacks against both Russia and the US. Therefore, we had observed that cybersecurity could be the common agenda that forms the basis of a US-Russia relationship against Beijing. Guess what? TFI Global stands vindicated in its prediction and it is Russia's foreign minister Sergei Lavrov who has confirmed plans to bring the US and Russia together in the cybersecurity sector. This should send warning bells ringing for Beijing as its two most powerful enemies are joining hands with each other in an apparent attempt to rein in the Chinese threat. Hi and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I am your host Shubhangi and in this video I will tell you how Russia and the US plan to cooperate in cybersecurity out of their common concerns against China. Let's begin. Chinese President Xi Jinping's actions are pushing Beijing into deep trouble. In fact, his cyber warfare activities are bringing the US and Russia on the same page. Frequent cyber attacks by China's hacker army are targeting computer resources in different parts of the world. Russia and the US are no exception. Therefore, despite their historically acrimonious relationship, Washington and Moscow are now ready to cooperate against China in the cybersecurity sector. And this might just be a start in a greater alliance against China. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov disclosed that Russia and the US are preparing contacts on cybersecurity. Lavrov's remarks also revealed how Russia and the US might look to bury the hatchet as they decide to take on their common enemy, China. Joint Cybersecurity Front Lavrov said, The Geneva summit between Russian and US President Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden discussed the need in broad outline to establish a dialogue on cybersecurity after all. Notably, we at TFI Global had reported that just a day before the Biden-Putin summit, a US-based media outlet CyberScoop published a report which mentioned that the Russian government agencies were allegedly hacked by Chinese hackers. It was reported that Chinese hackers targeted Russian federal authorities in an apparent attempt to steal confidential information from the Russian systems. TFI had then observed that the timing of the report was crucial as it suggested the Biden administration's desire to discuss cybersecurity with Russia in the context of the common threat posed by the Chinese hacker army. Lavrov added, This is yet another issue which Washington refused to discuss with us for several years, including an official statement by President Putin that was devoted to initiatives in the Russian-US relations on ensuring a transparent, trustworthy and fact-based dialogue on cybersecurity. What the Russian Foreign Minister has said suggests that the US-Russia relationship has moved beyond hostile rhetoric when it comes to cybersecurity. Earlier, Biden used to blame Russia for every single cyber attack on American systems. However, Biden now realizes that Russia is not really as big a threat to the US and it is China that needs to be handled properly, even if it means that the US president has to cooperate with his Russian counterpart, Vladimir Putin. Common sense has prevailed better late than never. In fact, Changing American behavior was also visible when the US, NATO and the European Union blamed China and not Russia for a cyber attack on Microsoft Exchange servers. More cooperation and less tensions. The Russian Foreign Minister also said, such contacts on the issue of cybersecurity are now being prepared and that is why there are grounds to believe that we will slightly reduce tensions on the international scene in some directions. Lavrov did not directly name China while talking about the easing of tensions in some directions. However, reduction of tensions between Moscow and Washington is more or less likely to be related to common concerns against China. Both Russia and the US, for example, remain concerned about the expansionist nature of Chinese President Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative. China is eating into Russia's sphere of influence in Central Asia and Eastern Europe with the BRI, whereas the US remains concerned about China's attempts to create debt traps in strategically located nations around the world. 
Similarly, both the US and Russia are victims of China's reverse engineering industry and a clear propensity to steal defense designs. Moreover, Russia and the US also share common geopolitical interests against China. Both the US and Russia have Arctic coasts and naturally aspire to make the most of the economic opportunities that will be created by the melting polar ice caps in the Arctic. However, China claims that it is a near-Arctic state and wants to exploit the melting region. Therefore, the US and Russia can also come together to cooperate in the Arctic against China. As the US explores more and more options to cooperate with Russia against China, there will be a remarkable reduction in tensions between Washington and Moscow. Rather than fighting between themselves, it makes sense for Putin and Biden to come together and take on the bigger common threat posed by Xi Jinping. Partners, not friends. The proposed rapprochement and reset in US-Russia ties don't really postulate a friendship between the two countries that operate as two completely different systems. Also, the Cold War history between the US and Russia is such that it is very difficult for both Washington and Moscow to accept each other as friends. However, there is a visible mutual understanding that Russia and the US can undermine their differences and coordinate as partners at least till the time they rein in the common threat posed by growing Chinese belligerents. Lavrov too said that the efforts to establish a dialogue in particular spheres don't cancel the fact that the US is trying to deter Russia. And what the Russian foreign minister said actually makes sense. It is unfair to expect that the US president and the Russian president will be able to trust each other. However, there is one thing that both of them can bank upon, and that is the common hatred for China.